Yes. If I read from my version, you might not understand because it's a new to understand that version. You are so here to understand God, the creator of farthest part of the earth, never grows faint or weary. Don't you know that? No one can fathom the depth of his understanding. Don't you know that he gives power to the tired and the worn out and strength to the weak? Don't you know that even the weak, even the youth shall be exhausted and the young men will all give up? But don't you know that they that wait upon the Lord, God shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle. They, they shall walk and not faint. But they that trust in the Lord will find new strength. Will do what? Will find new strength. They will be strong like eagles, scurrying upward on wings. They will walk and run without getting tired. Begin to pray that Lord give me the strength and grace to cross the Begin to give, begin to pray that God please to put my trust in you in every way of my life. God give me strength and grace because relying on God alone is the answer to every solution or every problem in one passing through. Every problem of our life is, is, is answerable by God. This verse is remembering us that don't you know that the Lord does not grow weary? He does not get tired. You know, pray for new strength, all that you need my strength. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. No hope for us, O God. Lord, we want to thank you for yet another day to be in your presence. Lord, we want to thank you for life. Without life, none of us will be here. Thank you for every challenges we all are going through. Because the path of the just is like a shining star that shines brighter and brighter to the perfect day. Thank you, God, because where we are now is not where we used to be. Lord, we thank you even if these people don't say amen. We know we have them our mouth. We ask you accept our thanks. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Lord, we pray for every heart that are here and as many who are coming. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you will arrest every heart. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Lord, we contradict and we deny the plans of the devil today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, even as we go to the Friday school today, we ask, oh God, that the Holy Spirit will break through our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every barricade and obstruction from us being blessed today, we ask the Almighty God, the Spirit of God, will produce it away in the name of Jesus. Amen. Help us to experience you. Amen. The Bible says the word I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. Lord, we ask you to speak your spirit and you will speak your life unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless me, your mighty name of God. In amen. Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Then you shout a louder amen. amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I want you to welcome someone beside you and say, My brother, you are welcome to today's service. Say, You are welcome to this one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is how many of you remember? All ye that are upright in heart, and ye that has made him your choice, be sadness and sorrows depart. Rejoice, rejoice, be glad in the Lord. And you know why? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, every one of us have challenges. Brother, no man. You think it's like People they die for you in peace now because they will not be If you die, it's okay. When you hospitalize, it's okay. No. I want you to thank God. So I want you to smile this morning. Smile to God. Encourage yourself. The Bible says, and David did what? Encourage himself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord Julius, whatever you are passing through, it's for your moment. It's for your moment. The time is coming, we'll share the testimonies together. And we will rejoice. You see, there is no challenge, there is no testimony without challenge. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's keep on holding on to who. Let's let's have our sin. Spiritual life. So the thing the mother needs to do is to what? Breastfeed. If you don't breastfeed that baby, what will happen? He will die. Even you will not grow. He reach level. 
You go reach one level, you say you never talk. People around you go know. I mean, so the Bible says, as newborn babes, do what? Desire. A baby usually desire milk. The sincere milk. There are many milk that are not sincere. But there are milk which is called, this is not carbon milk. Are you getting me? Yeah. This is not chocolate milk. The sincere milk from a woman's what? Breast. If you know so, can they not go through like this? The same way, if you don't desire the sincere milk of this world, you will not grow thereby. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, this is what we are looking at this quarter Christian spiritual discipline. So, today we are looking at working in newness of life. Last week, we heard about some people doing the life of Christ, and I was expecting here to be flooded. I was expecting here to be flooded. How many of you received the form last week? Progress Monitoring Evangelism Form. Please raise up your hand. Please raise up your hand. Sir, you didn't receive it. God bless you. As you come to my house, then you receive it. That is to measure the number of people you have won over to Christ. Thank God, today is the end of the month, right? Praise the Lord. So, tomorrow is the beginning of a new month. Let's see in the first week how productive are you to God. And let's see how God has been productive to you. Praise the Lord. So, we are looking at what? Walking in newness of life. So, the top, the memory verse is taken from Romans chapter 6, verse 4. Can you open your Bible to Romans chapter 6, verse number 4? We have it in the manual there. You don't need to open now. Romans chapter number 6, verse 4. It says, Shall we read it together? I want to go. Therefore, are we here together? Yes. Page number 7. Page number 7, we have the memory verse there. One, two, go. Therefore, we were buried with him into death. That just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. It means what? Hallelujah. So even as he was raised from the dead, by who? By the glory of the Father. Even so, we should be what? We should walk in that newness. Do you know how it means to walk? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you here with me? Yes. If a baby is struggling to walk, what does does the baby walk consistently for one minute? Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. We will take one leg, right? Yes. And know what? Who will raise the baby up? Huh? Or, or the maid. At times, the baby will what? We struggle to do what? To stand up. Right? And you do what? You will keep going. And you will be what? You will watch. Isn't it? Even so, you are supposed to walk out in the newness of life. It means you will follow. It means, listen to me. We used to expect that when a man gives his life to Christ like that, huh? yes, he has become a newborn baby. Yes, he's born again. But do you know, the Adamic and the propensity to still lie is there. So you will be conscious. I'll tell you a story. Not a story, a real life of all right. Something happened this week that I have to lie. You know there's something about lie, even if you don't think about it, you just say it. That is something about life. Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Please talk to me. Yes. You know you are born again, but you didn't premeditate it. You just said it. And you're like, ah, I'll just lie. But do you know, if you don't confess that you have lied, that is what made it the same. Until the, we were praying, my wife and I were praying, and Holy Spirit said, ah, this is what you have done, and just said, why? So I told my wife, this is what happened. And the person I lied to, I did what? I told the person. So can the devil now come to me and say, you don't lie again? No. So I am afraid of God more than that person. I fear God more than that person. So I won't be like trying to cover myself so that the person will not see my shortcoming. 
The Bible said, Paul said, Oh, what a wretched sinner man. Who shall deliver me from this world? From this world? From people? From this body of what? Of sin. Praise the Lord. Okay. So how do we walk in this new man of what? Of life. So, we are going to be having three. Please join me in page number 10. Former ways of their lives and embrace a new life in Christ. However, living the Christian life is a process. It's a what? It's a process. What is a process? A gradual step, right? So living a Christian life, walking, walking. Please look here. If your destination is at that exit door, if that is your destination, can you take one step and get there now? How do you take it? Huh? One step at a what? At a time. How many of you remember this song? It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Who what? Walking in the life of who? Of God. So do what? Walk. Walk. Hallelujah. I pray none of you to walk to a place that will kill you. So, walking in this newness of life, not in the old life. So, we are going to be looking at number one, the old and the new life compared. We want to compare the old life and the what? And the new life. And point number two, we will look at what was the of what? Of the calling. And part number three, we look at what? The benefits of what? Of the new life. So point number one, the old life and the what? The old life and the what? And the new life. Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 9. Romans chapter 6, quickly. Romans chapter number 6. Romans chapter number 6, verse 1 to 9. If you don't have your Bible, please raise your hand. We have Bibles here. All who sin and ask the grace of God to multiply upon us. No, God forbid. Out then, we that are dead to see, we that are dead to sin, you know what it means? Praise the Lord. You know what it means? How come we that are born again continue to live in sin? How come? How many of us have you ever seen a man whose obituary uh, poster is posted on the street and you see that man head in the body on suit? And cry and shoot. How many of you have ever seen? It? Sir, if you see that man, will you walk normally? <laughs> From Abyss. If you see, how many of us see uh, your father is late or your mother is late? Anyone? Yes. Okay, your mother just come to you, open the door down, and say, Mommy, Mommy, how are you there? You go harder. <laughs> that is the same thing when a man says he's dead to sin. And that man who is dead to sin, it means that there is no activities of sin. You can see around the church. But I see that same man lying. But he's dead to sin. That same man keeping boyfriend, girlfriend. That same man watching pornography. That same man stealing. It is not possible. How then that we that are dead to sin live in him? How? Verse 2 says, God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer? Know you not that so many of us as we are baptized into his death, into Jesus Christ, we are baptized into his death, therefore we are buried with him in baptism into death. That like Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the nightness of his death, we shall be also in what? In the likeness of his resurrection, verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man is what? Right. Knowing this, that our old man. Please, it is important to know that the, the name for this flesh, the old man, is called the simple flesh, the man of sin. Praise the Lord. The old flesh, the old man, is called the flesh. And another name for it is simple nature. That is the old man. It is sinful. That man, before he gave his life to Christ, is an old man. He is a sinner. 
And the Bible says, the prayer of a sinner is a what? It's an abomination against who? Against God. So, we want to describe the characteristics of individual living in the old life. Praise the Lord, are you here with me? We want to know the characteristics. When we talk about characteristics, we talk about the three you can see in a man of sin. You can see in a sinner's life. And look at the characteristics, lifestyle of a man who is born again. Can we do that quickly? So, I want to challenge you people today with the leading of the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. I don't know how many of you are saying, can a blind man lead a blind man? Where will be their destination? But do you know, all of us are. Can you see tomorrow? Tomorrow. So you can see. I'm not seeing the next few hours. You cannot do God bless you. Give me two minutes. Pastor Brother, this is your eye glass, sharp. But if you see back, just need to. So we are all blind. So who you will need if all of us are blind, you need someone who can see. Right? To do what? Please come, bro. No. Let's assume a blind. Who will be at the front? He can see. I am like, who will be at the front? Well, guess what? We want to allow these people to follow us. <laughs> and all this please, you know there's only about this place. Whatever you tell him, God doesn't have you. So you want to order all this people, and God said, I will order your books. So, sir, let's assume I'm like, I want you to leave you. But you let go this one. <laughs> who did you do? Who did you do? <laughs> Suppose I can't see. Who be able to direct? So if you don't allow the Holy Spirit sir, to lead you even in decision making, you will miss it. If you don't allow Him at every step and say, Lord, at this juncture, what is the next thing? If you don't pray, sir. You will be misled. If you allow Brother Labaja and Brother Hay to tell you this is what is happening now, and you tell me to me, sir, you will not go rush. That is what we have the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide you. If you don't consult him, sir, there are many people whom the devil has launched out. If you will be consult them, you will not be in grievous loss. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to challenge you to lead, to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you according to the dictates, not according to the dictates of your own future. And number three, the benefits of the new life. What are the benefits? I want to ask a question. What does the new life offer us? The new life in Christ, what I imagine, what does he offer? Hallelujah. Now, what else? What I imagine? What have you done? I'm going to be making this class if I have to. In fact, all of us will be Sir, you said your mind. You are not of the same mind. <laughs> Eternity. What else? What, have you what does this new what do we benefit from this new life? Joy. Joy! Really? You get joy. Sir. If I call you and say, Pastor, get back to you. I say, I will ask you, where's your joy? God bless you. Joy. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord. Is what? That's right. Pastor Brahma. Freedom. Freedom. Hallelujah. Freedom from what? From sin. Any other person? Rest of mind. Rest of mind. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace. You say the same ah, thing. Peace. 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 My peace I leave unto you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the war given. Give it ah, unto you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if only in this world we have hope, we have all men, most of them. Even there's no hope in this world. Our number one benefit of this new man is that we get to walk hand close to close with God. Thou my everlasting portion, more than friend or life to me. Glad we lie, tall and so far, only let 
me walk with thee, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Benefit. What are the benefits of giving your life to Christ and walking in the new life? Colossians chapter 1, 12 to 14. Colossians chapter 1, I'll read 14. Benefits. It says, I'm always thankful to the Father who has made us to feed, to share all the wonderful things that belong to those who live in the kingdom of life. King James says, giving thanks unto the Father who has made us me to become the what? To become partakers of the what? Divine Uh huh. The next verse, King James. Who are Delivered us. Please can someone explain. The greater power. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Okay. You are being tormented by the powers of darkness. And there is an invisible hand of God that what? He stretched into that darkness and did what? And delivered you. And the devil will say, Do not swear at you. Oh, give me a little Oh, give me a little bit We will call three times. He must come back. And they call two years. And he's not there. Ah. And they talk and thinking we are here. Two years. And they will hear your voice. Why are you looking for the dead? I'm all well. well. The two years you are looking for is what? It's no longer here. There is a mighty power who has delivered us from where? From the powers of what? Anyone who is not in Christ is in the shadows of that place. <laughs> you see many Bangladesh, Pakistan, Syria, Palestine, everyone. With their cars. Guess what? The demons are really molesting them. And you are there. Ah, go. Just answer me like this one. You are imitating what they have because you cannot see. Guess what? If they die instantly, they are. If they die instantly, they are. That is what the Bible says. Knowing therefore the terror of God, we what? We persuade the men. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, question two as a random How can you show that you have been raised from the dead? How can you show that you have been raised from the dead? Anyone? I have five minutes more. The old way, the old Nelson, the old days, the things of this world. Avoid certain habits and activities that binds us to this world. Our personal appearance should speak for Jesus and not against Jesus. That is why at times when a believer says, when I see a believer, I tell them this one is a believer. You see a believer wearing jeans that is torn. A believer. Sir, can you invite president into this place? I will wear a torn jean. There was a brother who was not to take mission from Nigeria. But we, he got here. I was my former church. I didn't know, we didn't know because I didn't know anything about what to do church. So there, right there, we came to the church with dark glass. Another kind of glass that you will be afraid, you will believe your usher. And it will just raise up like that. I went to him. I didn't tell you to respect, just go on. Let God see you face to face. I bought to I bought. I didn't know he took offense. When I became a pastor and he saw the picture, now you be the pastor. Lie, I don't know. And he never came. He was a decade in gospel preparation. And he did say were the decades that would have helped. Because he was a baby there. He was a baby when they appointed him. You must mind the way you are dressed out there and in the church. You must mind your carefulness. 
Yeah, yeah when you go to buy clothes, you, know, you will look. If you are wearing this, will you show Christ? You know, there are clothes like that. that it does not deplete whether you are in Christ or you are not in Christ. They are just neutral. And there is someone who is asking me, Hello, sir, which one do you belong to? We know that we are confused. Whether you are in Christ or not, if you are just neutral. Dress, talk, relate. Knowing the fact that you are what? Father, you are here. We ask questions now, but Father, you are Say, Lord, help us. Help us, O God. We've just found life. And your, 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 char- your characteristic, the life, the kind of life you produce, does not show you are in faith. You are in relationship, you are in good terms with the Lord. And guess what? Jesus is calling you to repent. If you are here, I want to surrender your whole life unto Jesus. I would like you to raise up your hands as I pray with you very quickly. It is an opportunity because the Bible says, whosoever that is not in Christ is in darkness. And Jesus is here to save you. If you are here, today is an opportunity to live that old life. If you are here, I would like you to raise up your hands as I pray with you while all eyes are closed. Deliver me, O God, from sin. I said, for this purpose, the Son of Man was made manifest, and it will destroy the world for the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise. I'm happy to be in church today. Can we open our Bible to the Second King, Chapter Four? Second King chapter four. We're going to be it's going to be a very little lengthy reading. Praise the Lord. Are we all there? Now please can you read for me? Now there is setting Second King chapter four from verse one. Now that prophet unto my husband there. And that what do you want me to do for you? Today, the Lord is asking you, what do you want? Before God do anything, or before any person do anything for you, you cannot just come and stand in person's front and do like this. Without you telling him what is in your inner mind. We have different problems. We have different challenges. Today the Lord is asking you, what do you want? Continue, my brother. Tell me, what have that, what do you have after to Christ? When you give your life to Christ, what you really need, he is going to give you. What you really need is going to give you. The woman says she only have a floor and a little jar of oil. My brother, continue. Go, if Elisha to her, go and borrow. My brother, today you have a tax. Yesterday, we are calling people for evangelism. What God is asking you now, in a notion, I'm going to interwove that word, you have people to invite to this church. That is what you have. You have people to invite. The woman says she only have a floor and a jar of oil, and it's very little. For her and her son to eat and die. My brother, today you have people to invite. That is what the verse is telling you. Me and you, not only me, both of us, all of us here. Continue. Thou should shut the door upon thee and open thy son, upon thy sons, and shut shut pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. Okay. When you do God's will, whatever thing you need, as that woman shut the door, she continued to pour the oil in the jar continuously. God is going to meet you at the point of your need continuously. Amen. And as you continue to pour, it will finish. Amen. You continue to pour, it will not finish. Amen. My brother, that is how it is, but you have to obey. 
before anything will happen, there is your own condition, you have to meet your own condition, then God will also meet his own condition. If you do not, it is not possible. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why I say, go here into the world and make disciples of men. You are all here. Somebody brought you here. And you also bring somebody here. If you don't bring anybody here, you are not a good person. Praise the Lord. Amen. So she went, who brought the vessels to her? And she poured out. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto the her sons, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel small. Praise the Lord. We are going to stand up and pray and ask God. Say, God, today, this is what I want. And this is what I'm going to do for you. Let me on our feet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. We are going to ask God. And we are going to tell God, this is what you were asking you for. And you also tell God what you want him to do for you. It is just a reversal. If you didn't ask, you will not get. But when you ask, you will get. He said, Lord. He said, when you open, ask, it will be given to you. So now we are going to ask God, Father, this is what we want. Father Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I ask Lord, Father Lord, make me your instrument. Lord, make me your instrument. Make me your instrument. Father Lord, direct my path so that I can be able to talk to people. Direct my path, Lord Jesus, this morning. Lord, this morning I ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I will do your own. Father, King of glory, do my own. I cannot be able to do the two together, but I am going to do your own. I will do your will. 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 Meet me at the point of my knees as I do your work. In the name of Jesus. My Kasata Kata. My brother Roko Sokoshima. Father King of Glory, I ask. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I ask in your name. In your name. There is no any other name that I can be able to ask. Father King of Glory, I put all my trust in you. My trust is all in you. My trust in you. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, King of glory, I submit my will. I submit my will to your will in the name of Jesus. I submit my will to your will, to your will in the name of Jesus. Father, King of glory, I lift you high. I lift you high. I lift, I lift you high in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I surrender my life. I surrender my life to your will today in the name of Jesus. Today and forever in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. Open your mouth God. You have asked, you ask God, this is what I want. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father King of Glory, I surrender my will. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you and I give you praise, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now we are going to pray for ourselves. You know, each and every one of us here, there is a reason we are here. Without no reason, we cannot be able to fly from our country and come to this place. Mm -hmm. Some of us are here now, they are deeply, deeply in their mind. They are deeply in their mind, not really happy. But I want you to open your mouth today and ask God, say, Father, Lord, I confess my sin. If there is any hindrance in my life that will make it not my turn of answer, Father Lord, I ask, forgive me. So you can be able to answer my prayer. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, if there is any hindrance that will make Lord, as I pray for this people, that will make their prayer not to answer to me. Father Lord, forgive me, so that as I join my faith in their faith, so that the prayer can be answered. In the name of Jesus, Makasata Libaba, Rabo Kozole Boshika Sakamalama, Rabo Kozole Boshu, 
In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know the Bible says the prayer of a sinner. So let's confess our sin genuinely so that our prayer can be answered in quickly in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you and I give you praise. Lord, we are not ignorance of the divine. Raise a higher standard. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, answer our prayer. Answer someone here today. Amen. Meet someone here today, Jesus, Amen. because of the confession that the person has done today. Lord, answer the person's prayer. Amen. We come against every plan of the enemy. We render them loyal and void and impotent in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you because you are the good God. Thank you for answering prayer. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 One more time. For the Lord shall supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. 2018, our year, our year of supernatural. I want you to personalize it. 2018, my year of supernatural provision. It is not only food God will provide for you. Job God will provide for you. Good health He will provide. Sound mind He will provide. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every one of you. You will see the end of this year. Today is the first of the month of September. You will see the December month. In the name of Jesus. When we get to December, we are celebrating. Every one of you here today. You know, those of you are trusting God for job, you have the Emirate title. Amen. Those of you are trusting God for, for your salaries of a day, your salaries will be double paid Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are not so saying we are believing in God. The Bible said, they look up for people, their faith is ready to march. Do not be ashamed in the name of Jesus. Go and be blessed in Jesus' name.